This episode of Fishing Fridays is brought to you by Moonglow Attractors, The Rig Shack, Top Quality Rigs, Run the Tackle Bait Shop, and Sol and Seagoo. Hello guys and welcome to Fishing Friday, Season 2, Episode number 10 guys. Yes, this is the final, final episode of the season two of fishing friday guys um sorry i was just watching the new zealand and ireland game because that's on now because it's um 20 past 11 i'll be going at about 12 15 low tide is at four o'clock the reason i'm going early is because i'm going to do the small species thing again just mess around with the small species i just like to shout give a huge huge shout out i'm going like today i'm just taking a rucksack and a rod I'd just like to shout out my three sponsors. One second. I'll just pick one of each product. First one, Moon Glow. Right there, guys. I hope you can see that. Yep, you can. These are glow beads. Well, basically glow bead type of things that you twist around your hooks that I will show you in a bit when I'm down the beach. Next one, Solent Seagoo, guys. This is absolutely amazing stuff. I've heard so much about it. Can't wait to try it out today. And the next one is my other sponsor, The Rig Shack, guys. Um, this is his flatfish rig. Because I've heard that there are flatfish coming in down Newton, too. Um, he has sent me a wide selection. There is a two-hook flapper that I'll be used today. I know it's Newton, but this is what I'll be using to start the session off with. My His mini species rigs. But yeah, guys, Moonglow is an amazing company. They've sent me quite a few of their products to try out. They've sent me either 8 or 10 packets. And Sol and Seagoo has sent me four bottles and two syringes and a few stickers to try out when I'm down there. So what this is, guys, you put the, take the lid off, put this in, fill it up as much as you want, guys. Then you get your bait and then you inject it into the bait. And this is a scent. So each one has got a different scent, like this one's squid scent, this one is Sol and Seagoo X. And where's the glow one to? I'm not taking the ragworm. And then they have a sandeel glow. That one will be used quite a bit today along with the squid and the X. But i just like to shout out all of my sponsors and also Ron the Tackle, who... Let me just show you. I've got a new rod, guys. It was a Christmas present off my mum, so thank you, mum. But there's a new rod. He has given me a rod bag for nothing. And I haven't got his reel again. I've got a new reel. Because I've left the other one at home. Because I've got like a home set and a down here set. That rod was meant to be at home but I wanted to try it out. I left the other reel at home but I've just got the Silk 70D again that I used last episode. So I can't wait to get out guys. I'm going to end this now because I've been filming for three minutes. I'll get back when I'm down the beach. So guys, we've started off a bit further up the beach today. We're fishing for you, just until the rock drops. Just trying to get anything. I got the goo on right now. Just use some of the goo. There's a bit left in there, but I'm using some baby squid a minute. What I got left. Oh, hello guys and welcome to Fishing Fridays, season two, episode number 10. You're currently in my jumper on the tripod because this wind is horrendous. Keep watching the rod because I've had one knock already. Uh, the rig of choice today, guys, is a panel pulley from the rig shark, guys. Uh, one sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. My mate just come to talk to me. So I got a panel pulley rig here from the rig shark, and I'm going to show you how I bait that. Today's bait of choice is a squid, guys. I, what I do, I pull that long tentacle off because I'm not too fussed on it. Then I grab it from there. I just hope you can hear me because this wouldn't be surrendered. Pull it all the way through so then it just comes out. Then I wrap that around. Sorry, I've got to keep looking back because my rod's out. I wrap that around with the elastic. Um, I forgot to put the pair of it. Yeah, don't worry. I wrap it all the way around and then I get to the second hook. Hook that just through. Pull the line tight. And there's your pulley that I do strap that on too. But yeah, thanks to all of my sponsors for sponsoring this, well, my channel in general, but for sponsoring 
the last fishing Friday on my channel until I can start season season three. But there we go, guys. There's the bait. I got a four ounce weight on right now. Let me just go get salt and sea go in there. There's my mate in the background, guys. He is bassing right now. He is spinning full bass. So the flavour of choice right now for me, guys, is Sol and Sigu X right now, guys. I thought I'll give that a go. So you put it in, guys. Suck it up with this range. I don't put too much, to be honest, because this is quite... The scent on these is absolutely amazing. There we go. There it is, guys. Whew. If a fish don't go for this, I don't know what they do. So guys, where I like to inject it, I always leave a little slit for there. Inject that in, then push it down into the bait. You can literally see it all going in. So that's there. Uh. There we go, guys. I couldn't fit a moon glow attractor on you because it's a panel, but oh, the rig that I got out right now has got a moon glow attractor on, but this is just filled with juice now, guys. So I'll get back if there's any news. So guys, I'm so not used to this new rod. I've got a fish. It is just the dogfish, but there we go, guys. There's the proof. There is the moon glow attractor. There, there's the squid that I just chucked out. <sighs> And that was filled with Sol and Sigu X, guys. And that is a nice dog fish. But there we go, guys. That's the first fish. Cheer, yeah, guys. There we go. There's the first fish of the day. <laughs> right for there. But that was off Sol and Sigu X. Two of the glitter green um, moon glow attractors. And a panel pulley. No, sorry. A single pulley from the rig shaft there. so there we go there's a start the reason i didn't get to film the pulling in guys so i'm not used to this rod yet because i've got a brand new rod this is the tronic pro alpha power but yeah guys this is the next choice that i'm going to be putting out this is sandy this is the glow version guys this stuff's amazing it smells really good too well for the fish So guys, I'm just going to pull this rod in because I don't think there's anything there. It's either the bait stripped or other things have run off. So I'm going to change it to the panel now. Let me just get this out. it has been absolutely trashed look the hook spun around see i think it's been a conger on it because of how much it's like wrapped up look at it that was wrapped up to bigger reason back so i'm gonna change a bit now and check a different rig on 
Instead of that, guys, let's show you what Sol and Sibu does. As you can see, that's just pumped full of it right now. It's everywhere. And check in that tiny piece of bait out for a dogfish now, guys. There's the two attractors. Oh my god, this wind is picking up. So I'm going to cast it now when I untangle this. Like I said, guys, this is a this is a rig shack rig, guys. A pernal, no, a pulley rig. Why do I keep saying pernal? Drop her down. Let's go for the cast. Like, guys, don't forget, guys, this is my first time with this rod. It's brand new. It's a... Oh, it's an Alfred, is it? Power. Well, it's a power rod, anyway. So I'm just going to go down there now and cast. Guys, that's the cast. Let's see if we get a fish. Set this nicely on the tripod, tighten that line. Let's get a fish, hopefully. There's a rainbow. Does that mean luck? Get these knocks because I just had some solid knocks. It just stopped though. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna go get that in now. There we go. Guys, I was just having little knocks like I was showing you. I'm gonna get this in just in case. Yeah. There we go guys, conga. So that's two fish we've had today now. A doggy and a conga. So let's just hope this rig's not too trashed. So guys, the next well, cast after that fish, I've just got another knock. So I'll go check it. Uh, if there's no fish, it's probably gone. It's a two hook flapper rig now.
don't know if you've just seen guys he's taking me into a snag so i'll see if the fish can free it so guys i just lost a rig right by there that's the third one i've lost today but this is typical for no so i've just strapped another one up and i finally managed to I was just about to say, I succeeded in getting a glow on there, a moon glow, but I didn't, it just fell off. So now we're gonna fill this with the last dob of this little nib of bait, because I've just been pumping in and I remember I'm filming. Stick that, this is the sandal glow. Stick that straight in the bait and whoop, and then look, it's oozing out. So that's the next bait, guys. Let's just hope as fish. Since I showed you how to use Sol and Seagull, it's time I showed you how to use Moon Glow Attractors. I've already done four on this rig. This is an up and over rig from the rig shack. Let me just hide that, son. Where is it? There it is. So I've got the silicone attractor, the luminous one, a pink one. So as you can see in the center, it's white. You get your hook point, let me pull that away. You get it straight dead in the middle. Then you just follow that through the hook bend, as you can see, you follow it all the way through. Pull that up over the snood. And there we go, guys. That's how you put a moon glow attractor on. Shout out to them, is that the arm? There we go. Shout out to them, guys. Also, shout out to the rig shack. I need to put moon glow attractors. Moon, moon, moon glows ready on you. I need to put. Uh, Sol and Seagoo on you. Um, I got what I brought with me today. I bought Sandil Glow, Squid, and Sol and Seagoo X. I've caught most of them off the X so far, so I'm gonna switch it up and put Squid out and the Squid flavor with the Squid. There next. we go, guys. There's a Squid on the. This is an up and over rig from the rig shark, guys. Oh, this sun's getting on my nerves behind me. Let me just turn this quickly. Oh, now my oddies in there. So guys, this is a up and over rig from the rig shack. That's getting on my nerves. <laughs> I've got my jumper around my tripod because it's so windy down here. But yeah, this is an up and over rig from the rig shack with moon glow attractors on, which also, as you can see guys, work as a bait stop, which is pretty amazing. But I just got to put solid go on there and then this bait is ready to go out when the next one comes in. So guys, Grandpa just showed up. Come here, Gramp. All right, there he is, and we've just caught another dogfish, guys. This was on Moon Glow silicone attractors, the pink and what color was it? Oh, I'll just show you. Pink and yellow, guys. With an up and over rig, guys, from the rig shop. This was on Sol and Seagull X again. There's the attractors and there's the proof that they work. So guys, I'll just get this fishing hook and get it in the rock pool no, with the rest. The camera. This way. To you? Yeah. No, up, this facing me, you'll see me on the screen. This way, Grandpa. Look, see me now? Oh, yeah. Hold it there. So guys, we just pulled another dog fishing. Look at all those glows. This was within how many, how many minutes, Grandpa? Two or three. Two or three, that's it. So it's a doggy. Yeah. These are the attractors that I'm using on my rig right now. They're yeah. from Moon Glow. As you just seen, I had a fish, cast it back out, and within a minute, I had another fish. What do you, what do you think of this product? Well, it's got to be working because you hadn't long put it out and you brought it back in with another fish. So therefore, you've had two or three fish all on this product. product. Sol and Sea Goo. This is the goo that I was putting around the bait. What do you think of this? Do you think this is working too? Well, it's got to be working because the fish are coming in very quickly towards it. So it's got to be working. So, Graham, this is my other spawn. So this is from the rig shack. These are the rigs that I'm using to catch the fish on. What, what do you think about these? Well, I think the quality is very good. Um, uh, I don't think you can complain anything about it. Everything we've caught has come in. So I'm down by there, and I just had a nice little knock again, so I'm going to run down.
guys, I'm not gonna lie, what do you think of when you instantly see that? Congaril. <laughs> so I think that's a new rig, that's my fifth today now. That's the fifth rig I've gone through today, so oh, let's get it back one, out. Two, three dogfish, and this nice, whew, at least 15 inch um, congreal. The rod's been going quite a bit, but I just lost the blinking ray, guys. I'm filming, it looked like a spot did, but it just dropped off. I was filming, so we're gonna continue fishing. These are some nice size fish, though, and it's produced a nice session. Thanks to Sol and Siku, the Rake Shack, Ron the Tackle, and Moon Glower. Guys, that is the end of the session. Me and Grandpa are now walking back. We got pushed off and the, the, the wind's picked up. The waves are crashing. I lost Star Ray and I was quite upset. But we're on the way back to the caravan now. Thank you so much to all my sponsors on this video. The Rake Shack, Moon Glower Tractors, Sol and Seagull, and Ron the Tackle. You've really helped me out with the boat this season of Fishing Friday. Hopefully we can continue the season three. There's no one else caught anything, so does that prove it? That the Moon Glower Tractors and Sol and Seagull work? And there has been like four or five people fishing, is it, Gramp? No one's caught, so that's proof, guys. So please check all of them out. The link will be in the description for all of them, guys. Please do check them out. They really mean a lot to me, and the products are top quality.